Hey guys, we're back with a new video, and this time we're breaking down two things. Dave Filoni has now been the creative director at Lucasfilm for over a year, and Rangers of the New Republic is no longer in active development. Um, these are two pretty big things in news. Let's start with the one that's massive and has broad implications. Um, Dave Filoni as the executive creative director of Lucasfilm. That's a massive piece of news. Mm. Um, I know I'm excited for it. I felt he's been right for the role for years now. Um, I think it's not fair to call him the heir apparent to George Lucas. Mm -hmm. I think he's an understudy and I think that's more fitting of a word because I think that's a high bar to live up to. But Nick, what are your thoughts on this news? It feels like weird to like, oh yeah, like this is a big move for him. Cause I feel like at least for me, like he's always been at this high, like creative level. I mean, he's involved with all of the, but the majority of the upcoming Disney Plus shows are at least, you know, Book of Boba Fett, um, uh, Ahsoka, you know, he's, he's behind the Bad Batch right now. And he's just always been around. But now to have that finally go to that, have that title, I think it's pretty exciting. And I'll be, um, you know, Filoni has been the one guy who, like, I feel people have always been, like, excited to see his name attached to a Star Wars project because he does know the the franchise in and out so i i'm in, i'm interested to see how like how this affects the slate even though like the slate already is it looks to extend into the next decade so like i think yeah. relatively they'll be okay and i don't ex I expect much shifts but um who knows who knows there's like he's he's made a big big habit of like drafting like legends concepts into the main into the mainstream canon so maybe more of that or maybe he's um going through to the other shows like the acolyte or maybe he is already i can't remember but um nice to see him have that get moved up into that position yeah it's unclear to see figure out exactly what his involvement is in all of the shows uh i'm assuming it's minimal in a lot of them just because of the pure scale uh and i know he's probably developing the soka show himself yeah uh so i i doubt he's hands-on with everything like Feige is. I think that's probably Kathleen Kennedy's job, but I wouldn't be surprised if he was in the pitch room saying, this is a project we should make, or um, just, you know, helping green light projects with Kathleen Kennedy, because I think Kathleen Kennedy is one of the best, maybe the best ever producer in the industry, but she may not be the best creative producer uh, yeah. as far as story. And I think, and I think that balance and, Kennedy having the ability to realize I need help and Filoni could be that help to really balance it. I think that's a really great idea because I think losing Kathleen Kennedy would be a massive mistake just because she's a great producer uh, and acquiring great talent. And I think Filoni is the creative ideas in mind that you want behind a studio in Star Wars like Lucasfilm. I think that's a great connection. I'm really excited to see where that goes. Mm -hmm. Let's move on though to Rangers of the New Republic. Nick, I know you were really excited for this, even though we didn't have a ton of news. Uh, what are your thoughts? Was this, I mean, it's probably not surprising that it's no longer in active development, but yeah. were you bummed out or surprised to hear about it? Yeah, I don't, like I think I was one of the few who was like, like legitimately excited for it just because I thought it was like, you know, a chance to explore this side of the universe that the only glimpses of we really we kind of saw at least in live action was when they were blown up in the force awakens so and you know the little glimpses in in mando so i was excited for a chance to have that i was excited by the concept even though we all we had was a concept but um yeah i'm a, a bit a bit bummed out but i feel like this has to have been connected to the whole gina carano thing right yeah like she was the, this was definitely her show so um I, my hope was when when she was let go that um they would found a way to make it work without her but i guess not which is a bit unfortunate because again i thought the concept was really interesting um i i from the looks of it though it does i guess it doesn't have that much effect on the big whole event thing they've got going on between mando boba fett and ahsoka which I guess suggests overall it was a bit like tangently connected, but I don't know. Um, there's so much Star Wars content going out that I'm sure it'll be, it'll, that gap will be covered, but um, was hoping that like, I would have taken a show about um, 
what's his name from Kim's Convenience? That oh oh that, that character that character or that actor. I would have loved like if he was the lead or if he was like leading a squadron or whatever. Could have you know, um, I think that would have uh, been like they could have used him. He was already there for a few few episodes. Yeah. Paul Sun Hyung Lee. There we go. Um, I do do not get me. I will go on to Kim's Convenience rant. I love him in Kim's Convenience, uh, and he's a great actor. He, yeah, he's a massive Star Wars fan. Mm-hmm. Like uh, you, huge fit. Like you could have. Like I think like you could have made it work, and you know that would have been cool. Like a Asian Asian lead at the helm of the at the of the rain of the New Republic Rangers. So um, I feel like there could have been a way to make it work, but. Um, alas, I guess they said she's not here, so it won't work as well. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think there were other, I, you know, Rangers of the New Republic, it's just the title. We don't have really any clue what the series was going to be about. Mm-hmm. Um, I still think it would have been really interesting. We got Gina Gavankar to play Ayn Versio in Battlefront 2, and we know how her story ends, and we know how it ends off in the original trilogy, right? Mm-hmm. But there's this gap between, and she would fit as a ranger of the New Republic. It would completely make sense. Janina Gavankar is a really good actress and really good with her screen presence. I right. think she could have brought a really good, um, you know, just been really good for the show. I think someone playing Harrison Dula could have been really good for Rangers of the New Republic. That's another one. Uh, I think either of those two would have been really exciting options. And I think they would have made sense for the world. And I think especially Janina Gavankar as a ranger of the New Republic, I'd be like, that makes complete sense. Frankly, I think one of the, my worries with rangers of the New Republic was I didn't think um, um, Gina Carano was particularly, I was not a fan. I know a lot of people were. I was not a fan of her character in yeah. Mando. I just didn't think she was doing that well from an acting perspective. Um, but I know a lot of people disagreed with that, which is, fine but i was like janita gavankar in that role i think you could still make the series work depending on how they want to interconnect it but right it's a bummer because it's less star wars content but you know what if they couldn't make it work i'd rather have them not make it than make something halfway good try you know like, what i mean try and manhandle it from a, from a different view I, yeah that's fair um yeah it's it's it is it is what it is you know it appears to be solely like behind the scenes stuff, but you know, it is what it is. Um, and, but, and at last we'll have, you know, two, three more seasons of Mandalorian. It feels you got book of Boba Fett apparently going for there. I've heard rumors that are trying to go for more than one season. So there'll still be more Star Wars content for the next few years. Yeah. I'm definitely excited, especially with Dave Filoni being at the head of Lucas films, creative team. Uh, Let us know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. We'll see you next time. Peace out.